Today on Urban Gardener, we're headed to Julie's Courtyard Sculpture Garden. Here's a good example of contrasts. This bamboo provides a really good foil for all the green down here. The brown actually brings the green out. It creates a nice repetitive line all the way down this walk. You have the opportunity to see everything that's in front of it, and even brings you to little moments like this, a little bird feeder with some suet in it, which is a sculpture, I would imagine. Oh, wow, look at this one. This looks like it was put here in order to incorporate what was going on with the neighbor's yard. And the whole thing just seems to kind of grow and become part of one whole idea. One of the things that's different about this fountain is the fact that the water is coming down to metal, which gives it a different tinny kind of a sound as opposed to splashing onto stone or water. We bought this space two years ago. I liked it because it's such a charismatic neighborhood. It was perfect because you walk outside, you see the skyline of Manhattan, yet you walk in here and you're transported to another place. I leave the city, I close the door and I hear my fountain and see the beautiful flowers. I pinch myself because I can't believe it's real. This is where idea of living sculpture began. I was making this sculpture and I put it down and I got sidetracked and I got onto something else. Two weeks later, I look over and there's this kiwi vine wrapped around my sculpture. It's about the interaction between an inorganic and an organic form and seeing how they live together. So it's kind of coming over and it's winding down. It's going to come over and, and wind around it and sit on top of it. So eventually this is going to be a great big hairdo Yes, over this there. is going to be a big vine, <laughs> viney do. It's the best of both worlds. I have the city you know, outside my door. Right, right. And I have kind of the country in this, in this little space. Thank you so much, Julie Joy, for joining us You're and so like, welcome. telling us all about your garden. Thanks it's been for a real coming. Pleasure. It was a pleasure sharing it. All right. See you next time on Urban Gardener. Like Home and Design? Have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest? So do we. Want to get some free exclusive content and giveaways? So do we. Subscribe to Spaces right here.